to Dr. Mark Esper, of course, the former Defense Secretary of the United States under President Trump. Uh, Secretary, good to have you. Hey, Neil, good to be with you. You know, um, it's a dumb question on my part, but but you're used to that, Doctor. I I, I am curious how Teixeira, uh shared this with others, including this gaming community. Um, and they know all the details, right? Uh, it's possible that at home he shared that with relatives. What is their culpability? In other words, is, 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 is anyone who had an ear or part to this or didn't alarm officials to this, is there any culpability on their part? Yeah, it's, it's a good question, Neil. Let me just expand the answer a little bit. So I think right now there are at least three immediate concerns I have that I hope the investigators are going after. Number one, what is the scale and scope of the release of information? And this suspect would have would have that knowledge because the sooner we find out, then the sooner we can kind of close it up and, and, and fix the system, if you will. The second issue is um, um, how did he do it? Uh, how was he able to download it, print it, get it out of the building and do those things? We need to understand that as well so that the Pentagon can issue additional instructions, if you will, to close that up too. And then number three, is anybody else involved? Uh, at the most dangerous level would be, was there some type of foreign influence or involvement? I hope that's not the case. Uh, did he have a colleague working with him at the Air Force that helped? And then thirdly, is the chain of command responsible somehow? Was, was there negligence and lack of supervision or something like that? So I think all these threads need to be pulled in fairly quickly so we can remediate the problems and make sure our systems are secure. You know, he was a relatively, not relatively, he was a low-ranking figure. He had this top security clearance. Right. I don't know how that goes, Secretary, but I do know it's almost identical to the situation with Julian Assange, Chelsea Manning, and Edward Snowden. They play out the same way, different types of revelations and different details, but the same pattern of people who were not top, top security officials who had a lot of information uh, that maybe they shouldn't have had, but were perfectly legal having until they shared it with the world. What do you make of that? Yeah, this is the key question, right? So first of all, I understand the need for somebody in his position to have a top secret clearance, because when you're working on this communications gear, you're the so-called IT specialist, uh, right. those types of things, you need to be able to have that clearance. But that doesn't mean you should be granted access to the information, particularly finished products coming out of the joint staff or the or the CIA. To me, that's the fundamental issue. I, I've said before, we have an over-distribution problem at DOD, and I think we need to quickly reduce the number of people who have access to this type of information. Bottom line, a lot of classified stuff keeps coming out, right? I mean, involving former presidents, a former vice president, um, classified documents. Uh, we, we, we have it now even going with the president's trip to Ireland and his security detail and his routes and where he was going. Uh, picked off the street and uh, just a, you know, someone who was there watching the event said, hey, do you guys need this? It seems important. So, so it, it's crazy. And, and yet I, I don't know of any other country that has a problem like this. Yeah, look, it is. It's been very damaging. I don't know why President Biden is downplaying it the way he did yesterday. But the fact is it, it hurts on multiple levels. You know, this release alone hurt our Ukrainian partners with regard to their operational Absolutely. readiness and their, their counteroffensive. It, it hurt our ability to access the Russians' information. And, and it's hurt our allies, yeah. uh, our relationship there. So it's damaging on multiple levels. We need a, a serious effort to kind of figure out how to close down these this access that's unwarranted and then put in or improve our insider threat detection systems so that when we see these things happening, uh, investigators, the chain of command is cued to take action immediately before this stuff appears on the web for, for weeks, if not months at a time. Yeah, or before the next time the identical thing happens. Uh, Dr. Mark Esper, the former Secretary of Defense, thank you very, very much. Good seeing you again. Thanks, Neil. Good to see you as well.